Hey everyone! In this video I'm going to tell you about a sophisticated Korean token that goes by name of fake codes. First, the good news. This token trojan targets only customers of Korean banks that said we have never encountered anything like it before. Sure, this digital call center employee is not all that smart yet, but technology doesn't stand still. Just imagine, instead of a sneaky scammer, there is a soulless machine at the other end of the line. It cannot be controlled. Fake calls imitate the mobile apps of popular Korean banks, including Kokmin Bank and Kakao Bank. You can see from the screenshot that the malware displays original bank support for numbers on the screen. After all, the cyber criminals took them straight from the official website of Kakao Bank. Cheeky or what? After installation, the Trojan requests a host of suspicious permissions. Access to contacts, microphone, camera, geolocation, call control, and much more. But all this spying is pretty routine for banking Trojans. What's so interesting about fake calls? Well, it mimics the voice of a support employee. That's what. A user calls the bank's official hotline. The Trojan sees this secretly terminates the connection and opens a fake call screen. That's it. Now the victim is unwittingly calling the scammers. For now, fake calls only speaks Korean, so a user may smell a rat if the interface on the phone is in English, but for some reason a call to the bank brings up a screen in Korean. After the call is intercepted, two scenarios are possible. Fakeholes can directly connect the victim with the attackers, or it can take the conversation into its own hands. After all, the scammers might be in the pub. We are all human. True, Skynet fans will be disappointed. The Trojan's repartee is limited to standard phrases used by answering machines and call center employees. For example, you might hear something like this. Next, we assume that the attackers connect to the call under the guise of a bank employee and try to lure out payment data or other useful information. This will be easier than usual, because it was the victim who initiated the call. Good old social engineering, but on steroids. Incoming calls from the scammers are passed off as calls from the bank using the same fake screen. To find out what else the evil geniuses behind mobile surgeons have concocted, please see our Kaspersky daily blog post. Kaspersky Solutions detected fake calls as follows and protect devices from it. What else you can do? Some simple tips. Download apps only from official stores and don't allow any installation from unknown sources. Official platforms scan all programs, and if malware does sneak in, it gets removed quickly. Pay attention to permission requests in newly downloaded apps. Don't be afraid to deny access, especially to potentially dangerous features like calls, text messages, etc. Never give out personal information over the phone. Official bank employees will never ask for login credentials the CVV code or verification code sent by text. If you are not sure, hang up, go to the bank's official website and find out what employees can ask you about. Install a reliable cybersecurity solution that protects your device against banking trojans and other malware. We are analyze the results of 75 independent tests and now know exactly which antivirus companies are the best and why. Follow the link for a detailed breakdown and infographic. That's all for now. And remember, install apps only from official sources, remain alert and stay safe. Laters!